Hey there, I'm Brooke Chase, your host and tree hugger new bestie to make your life all things simple. On my new podcast, Simply Be Sustainable, we're on a mission to discover how we can live a more fulfilling life with less. Less stuff, less waste, less clutter, so that we can thrive and experience the things that truly matter and make us happy. Join me as we explore practical strategies, learn with insightful interviews, and I'll share my own personal stories that I hope will inspire positive change. We'll dive deep into topics like zero waste living, ethical fashion, mindful consumption, and honestly, just acting simple. Together, we'll learn how to reduce waste, conserve energy, and live harmoniously with the queen bee herself, Mother Earth. If you're ready to begin your journey toward less or way more, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss an episode. Tag me and share things you learn, like, or don't on Instagram at simp.lee.be. Simply be, but, you know, of course, was taken by someone that doesn't use Instagram anymore. Or ask me a question. New shows drop every Monday at 8 p.m. Let's live simply, be simple, and simply be. For a greener, brighter future, one episode at a time. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Simply Be Sustainable, your new, hopefully, favorite podcast about how to live more with less. Guys, I am so pumped for today's episode. Um, We have so much to talk about, so I don't want to waste too much time with an intro, Um, but I have an awesome show planned for you guys today, and I am very, very excited to introduce you all to our very first guest on the show. Um, In episode one, we kind of touched a little bit about changing your mindset. Um, And I could do like a million parts on this, but first I just want to talk about it starts with slowing it down, Um, figuring out what parts of your life are not aligning with your soul because, you know, that one thing alone causes so much stress that you don't even realize. Um, So today today we're going to take a much deeper dive into that. Um, And I'm going to give you 13 things that you can start doing right now and start to think about right now that will help you relieve the extra noise and clutter in your life. Um, So without further ado, I'm going to bring on my friend and owner of Ritual Holistic Studio, Mia Thompson. So, well, good morning, Brooke. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm so excited to be here. Good morning, my beautiful friend. I am so, so excited. So just to give everybody a little backstory, this is going to be third time's a job. <laughs> so this poor woman, I bring all this stuff to her studio because I don't really have like a backdrop yet, which, hey, do you guys like my new uh, plant? I brought in. We had like a weird cold thing last night. So I brought in, I was like, oh, there's, there's my new studio. Okay. Um, <laughs> At least you have something behind you. <laughs> you have like the same color wall, isn't that? Cool? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I go to her studio. We get all set up. We're we're looking good. We're jiving. It was Halloween, and yo, the echo. We tried to go in the bathroom. We tried to go in the kitchen. Finally, we figure it out. And what do I do? <laughs> I forgot, forgot to hit record, record y'all. <laughs> forgot to hit record. We are recording now, Mia. We, we are, are definitely recording um, and we're ready to go. So um, just to give you guys a little, tell you about Mia. So I met Mia, gosh, probably like three years ago through a friend, Jen, and I was kind of like deciding whether or not I was going to full on move back home. Um, and I just was like, I couldn't decide. And it's kind of like a 360 because I ended up moving back home, but I recently obviously just moved back. And it was pretty much a whole struggle about like whether or not it was aligned with my soul, you know, and um, I really, you know, wanted it to work out, but I was so torn, you know. <clears throat> and so this this show is about like calming down your mind so that you can figure out what is aligned with your soul. And, you know, sometimes we go down a journey and we pick up tools that, which this is from Mia, this is what she told me. Um, she <laughs> is actually also a medium. Um, sometimes we go down a path just to like 
you know, we have to do the things that we have to do to figure it out. And we grab the tools that we need that will help us later on in life. And so I'm very, very excited to have you guys meet um, my friend, Mia Thompson. So Mia, tell us a little bit about what you do. <laughs> well, yes. Um, I recently opened a studio downtown Savannah. Um, I've been a medium uh, since I was a child. So a medium for those who don't know it, which I think pretty much everybody does now. I talk to dead people. <laughs> but in reality, death is just but a fantasy. We are all made out of energy. Um, I also am a Reiki master, so I teach Reiki, which is a Japanese healing art. I also do Reiki therapy. I'm an artist, so we do spiritual art, and we do uh, lots of fun things there, uh, different types of workshops. We do Reiki circles, healing, sound baths, um, all kinds of uh, healing and fun things together. <laughs> yeah. And so if you go in her store, I mean, they have like everything in there from tarot cards to crystals to mm -hmm. the, you know, the sound bowls, um, incense, candles, spell candles. I mean, it's kind of like a witchy store, which is obvious. <laughs> <really. laughs> you know, there's a lot in there for, for a lot of people. And like I said, the Reiki thing, um, is a fantastic thing. I've actually never done that yet, but I can't wait to, but she's on the show today to teach us how to slow down our mind. She is excellent at creating meditations. Um, and if meditations is like not your thing, I, you're the person that needs this the most. Like if you're like, Oh, that's too like whatever for me. Um, woo woo is so maybe something maybe that you need like maybe that feeling of like this doesn't feel like something that aligns with me is because you're like uncomfortable and we need to like stretch ourselves a little bit so if you're right. one of those people i really really encourage you you can fast forward to the end if you want just go straight to the hard part um but you are the one that needs the meditation the most it's only going to be five minutes and i'm not making sure that I do not say quick because the whole show is about not trying to be like fast and quick. <laughs> it's, it's snackable bite size just for you. Um, okay. So let's dive into the show. So um, the first thing that I want to do is just really quickly recap uh, the, the week. And I'm curious, have you guys tried my pumpkin drink that we had? Um, if you have, please let me know. There's another one I'm dying to try with pecans. Um, have you been saving plastic bottles of water by refilling your own cup, maybe with some ice? Are we feeling hydrated? Like, please tell me what y'all think in the comments on like, you know, either Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Um, and like what progress, like if you did make a change, think of like how many, how many cups or bottles that you uh, saved? If you did your whole family, do, you might have like a dump truck of of plastic bottles that is no more. <laughs> did you bring your cup in to, to get coffee? Did they look at you like you had 12 heads? Like, tell me the story. Um, so I actually went to my favorite coffee shop and treated myself to the sentient bean. Um, I love that place so much. And I had the best egg sandwich croissant. Have you been there? Oh, my yes, God. Yes, I have. I it's amazing. It's pretty, pretty good. So good. And I was dressed up for Halloween the night before. I was very, up, I was up very late murdering people as a killer nurse. So I needed that breakfast sandwich. <laughs> and I did rewear an old costume that I made from the Goodwill. Um, and I carved a pumpkin, roasted the seeds. I wanted to say this because do you know that 1.9 billion pounds of pumpkins are thrown away each year just in the United States? Wow, that is insane. One point billion pounds. So please, um, we'll probably do a whole episode on this, but save your pumpkin. If you carved it, like leave it out for the animals to eat. They'll love you forever. Um, you know, but you don't have to throw it in the actual garbage. You could just like let it decompose in your yard for for all that there is. Um, and I strongly encourage you to eat the seeds because they're dang delicious. Um, and I have a lot of reusable pumpkins that I can take out every year. So, I mean, I still like to buy pumpkins, but I don't have to buy as much because I have those. So that's something to think about too. Um, all right. So, um, I also did a winter crop, which I also found the thing that I learn every week is going to be tied into this. This is a staggering fact, y'all. I found a gift card that I hadn't used. And in the same time, a friend of mine told me this, that there are 
get ready for this, $21 billion of unspent gift cards. <laughs> That's crazy. That? Yeah, it's crazy. $21 billion. Like we could solve world hunger with that. Yeah. I mean, maybe, I don't know. That seems like a lot of money that could really change. <laughs> and it's just chilling there. Like it's already been spent. It's just like sitting there. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So very good to know right before the holidays. Maybe think twice about that gift card. Maybe just give them cash with a little note that says like spend it like this or don't. You know what I mean? Like cash is king unless they don't take cash, which is sort of a weird thing right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I uh, but I have a strong feeling that if you give cash, I promise that they will spend it. Um, Okay, so I used my gift card to make myself a winter garden. I planted broccoli and cauliflower and celery. Um, and I'm very excited to have all these fresh herbs. I got rosemary, basil, chives, scallions, which I actually grew from kitchen scraps, thyme, and oregano. So mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys these things because I just want to let you know that like I actually like do live this lifestyle. Like I'm not joking when I tell you this. So, anyways, that's what I, that's what we did this week. Um, all right, so. 13 things to help you embrace a simple mindset. How can we remove the things that are causing us stress and anxiety so that we can increase our focus and create a greater sense of contentment in our lives? So right before we get into that, though, we have a quick commercial break for the Holistic Ritual Studio, which we kind of already did. Um, but before we do anything, I just want you to tell everybody the address just in case. Absolutely. Well, the, the website address is www.ritualholisticstudio.com. And the address downtown is, the physical address is 125 East Broad Street, Suite 1C. But if you don't know the suite, don't worry. We're right in the front. <laughs> You'll see a, a witch named a Zelda witch. in the front. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Zelda will be greeting you. <laughs> We're there all year, so don't worry if it's not all <laughs> We're in Savannah, y'all. Um, okay, so we're going to get down into this. Um, number one, cultivate a sense of gratitude. So, and it's easy to just be like, oh, you know, I'm grateful for my boyfriend. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my car. I feel like if you can really, really, really think about one thing every day that like deep dives into like something that you're sincerely grateful for. It kind of helps you to do that. Um, but when you have, when you come from a place of gratitude of what you have rather than what you're lacking, mm -hmm. it really helps you to just like have a better perspective that like things aren't that bad. Um, and yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead. Did you want to say, say Brooke? Yeah, yeah I, I know that it's a conversation, but you're talking and I hate to talk over you. Oh, no, I want no, you to join in. That's what you're here for. I, yeah, but I, um, I, something important to think about is that we think that we, we are usually grateful for the big things, but we often skip the little things, which actually make the most important parts. Like, for example, when you wake up, you have a hot shower the smell of coffee in the morning. Um, if, if you have children, the laughter of children, the way their hair smells. I mean, it's just so many little things. The smell of grass, the wet grass when it rains, um, the birds. If you like walk around, like take a minute and, and stop and just look around. There's so much beauty and so many things to be thankful for. You're healthy most of the time. And if you're not, then there's moments that you don't feel as worse as others as bad as others. And um, there's always something, I mean, that's something that helped me survive when I was raising my kids. Um, mm -hmm. And I was a single mom and I had four, which was kind of insane. But trying to look for the beauty in everything, even if it's tiny. Yeah. And I love that perspective. And we're going to talk more about like being a busy mom. And like, that's something that I feel like a little bit disconnected with my audience because I don't have any kids, but I really want this to be a show for people that do, because I mean, that is something that I really want. So like, I want to be relatable to, to that audience. So totally like use that perspective. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, number two, prioritize and declutter. And obviously like I can do an entire episode on each one of these things, but really think about what is a priority in your life. Like if I don't do this thing today, like is the world going to end? 
Like if I don't do X, Y, Z that I'm stressing that I have to do, can it wait for tomorrow? Make it easy for yourself to create a situation that things are like handy and organized. So like if you're always reaching for like the dog leash to take the dog for a walk, like maybe just let it live next to the door and hang it there. Like if you, if you're always having to like really reach and look and do for all these things, then it makes it a lot harder just to do that one thing to get to the next thing. So I call it like set yourself up for success. That's perfect. (laughs) Yeah. Like if you have a basket by the door that holds the keys and all the things and like, you don't have to look for the keys to get out the door because it's all just right there. Exactly. That's perfect. Um, it, it, it takes away so much stress. Yeah. Also, time management would be good. Like if, if you. That's on here. We're going to get. Oh, go get it. Continue. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I love that. Um, and clutter, you know, the clutter part, like I said, can be a whole episode in and of itself, but we don't need like 27 of one thing. And I don't care. Like, this is one thing where like people might disagree with me, but when you, when you have kids and you have like, 27 plates and 27 pairs of underwear, Mm. then you have to wash them all and put them all away. So it's like, we always think that more is the answer, but I really, really believe that it's less. (laughs) I agree. That's Um, the same. More is less. It's it's there for a reason. And it's very, very true. Yes. Um, Okay. So connect with me here. This is a big one for me. And I really think that this is a big one for everyone. So if you feel like this is not something that resonates with you, I just like dare you to try it. Um, Spend some time outdoors. Nature has a calming effect and we are supposed to feel like we are one with the earth to help us break from the hustle and bustle of a busy day. Um, Something new that I just recently discovered is grounding or earthing. So did you know that the rubber in your souls like it like separates you. It has, I can't, I should have looked this up before I did this, but it's like the ions or whatever, and it makes you age faster. So I've been like, especially when I have a, like a shittier day or like a less happier day, Mm -hmm. I've been crazy busy and on the screen all day. I take my shoes off and I go to my favorite place. I go for a barefoot hike and I put my feet in the damn mud and (laughs) feels so good (laughs) yeah so even if you just step outside take your shoes off let the sun like get some vitamin d um on your face do that for yourself um okay limit the distractions with multitasking you guys i just discovered this but let hold on let me go back Identify and minimize time-wasting activities or distractions. This can be excessive screen time, the doom scroll on social media, which I'm so guilty of. Um, (laughs) But like, okay, so here's something that I figured out, which it's so crazy how this show is like helping me with my own life and I'm bringing y'all on this journey because this is not a joke that I discovered this this week. You know the little red dot on your phone for like your apps? Mm -hmm. Did you know that you can turn that off? Oh my gosh, that's great news. Let You have to let me know how. <laughs> I'm going to right now. Yeah. <laughs> I would always, like, I hate that little red dot. So I always try to, like, get rid of it, like, make it go away, right? So I don't want it to say one. I don't want it to say 27. I don't want, I don't know why I keep saying the number 27. Maybe I should play it a little harder. Ooh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so I was like, how can I fucking turn this off? And so I went into notifications and it said badge. Do you know what's called a badge? You can just turn off the badge and then the little red dot goes away. Oh, wow. And I literally went through and every time I knew I had a new red dot, I turned that badge off. I was like, badge, bitch, you are gone. (laughs) Gone. (laughs) And my brain just went, oh. No more sense of urgency. Yeah. And And now I don't have to scroll. Now I don't have to turn off. Now I don't have to do the things. Correct. Um, organize your day in time blocks. Okay. So someone who has like apparently recently discovered severe ADHD, I always have a list of things to do, but if I actually give myself a specific time block, like I am doing this from this time to this time, then I'm just like checking one thing off at a time. And I have like a timer that goes off and I'm like, bing, I'm done. (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, it allows you to focus on one thing at a time, which can, also, which can also lead to better quality of work and reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed. Unsubscribe from emails. So as you check your emails, once you stop doing the thing where you check your emails only when you want to, not because you have a little red bad bitch, badge bitch, that's my new name for her. <laughs> um, unsubscribe to those emails um, and start unfollowing while I scroll. Um, so I am just like, Unfollow, unfollow, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> but don't do that to me. Follow, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, the next thing, which obviously will be a whole episode, is simplify your wardrobe. So, you know, having only clothes that spark joy makes it so much easier to get dressed because, like, if you only have, like, one pair of black pants, that's the pair of pants that you're going to wear because you only have one. Right. And I promise you, because you love those pants, they go with everything. Absolutely. Yeah, that um, makes sense. Yeah. So if there's something that you're not wearing, you know, there's the hanger trick. You turn it around, which my niece was talking about that the other day. And I was like, oh, look. <laughs> um, and so it's really quick. It's like, does it spark joy? Yes, no, maybe. And you don't have to get rid of it if it's a maybe. You just put it somewhere else. And then a little bit later, like a month or even if you want to wait like a couple months or even if it's like a year, you go back to those maybes and you're like, no, I don't need these. Or maybe you do. Maybe you looked for it because you needed it and it's not even in the maybe anymore. Mm -hmm. um, move your body every day. Number six, move your body every day. I'm not going to elaborate on that. Move your body however you want. Walk your dog. Stretch. Do whatever Damn. you do. Just jiggle around. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but do that for yourself every day. Um, establish routines. Oh, sorry. I keep starting. Number seven, establish routines. So create a simple, consistent routine for your daily activities that will reduce decision fatigue and provide structure. So like my thing is I like, I make, I get up, I make the bed, I make the coffee, feed Yeti, you know, maybe pull a tarot card since I just got one from your store now. I'm so excited to try them out. <laughs> um, maybe you do a, like a grateful journal, like whatever you want to do, but you just start, it gets you going in a rhythm. Same for like going to bed or like, you know, whatever. So I, I'm, I'm recently like really getting into my, my routine and it's like jiving with me real nice. Quick. Um, embrace minimalism again, like this is pretty much what we're talking about. A minimalist lifestyle emphasizes only owning what is necessary and brings value to your life. So like, you know, as of right now, because I just moved here, my, some of my walls are bare, but some of my walls are full with things that I love. Like I'm obsessed with my gold mirrors. I love them. They fill the room with like light and people might be like, you have a lot of mirrors. I don't like look at myself in the mirrors. They're just yeah. like there. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, they're beautiful. Like I've seen it when you posted it on Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Like I, they just bring me joy, you know? Yeah. So it's like fill your walls and your home with things that are meaningful to you rather than just like, oh, I need a decoration for the fall. Um, okay. Learn to say no. Number nine, learn to say no. Don't overcommit yourself, especially with busy holiday season coming around if you are an introvert and you get invited to all these Christmas parties, go to like three that you want to go to. Or if you're an extrovert, go to 12. Like right. do what feels good for you, but learn to decline tasks or obligations that don't align with your priorities. If you hate to bake, don't be don't. the baker. Exactly. I Just am not. Bring you joy. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will cook you a meal. I mm. do not know how to bake. I'm not the one there. Uh, really i'm the i'm the opposite I, but that I brings like, you joy right yeah it would be fine right. and Absolutely. if we all bake then who would want like the food so that's good you do the food i'll do the baking and we'll everybody's well. happy <laughs> we need to have a party now yeah, exactly <laughs> Seek simplicity in relationships. So cultivate meaningful connections with people who support and uplift you. Let go of toxic or draining relationships. So like if you are around someone and you feel depleted afterwards, like I'm not saying you have to be like, I hate you, you're sure. this, that, but just like notice that. Mm -hmm. Notice how you feel when you interact with different human beings and try to like let the light guide you. Right. If if a relationship is toxic, it's also okay to just be right. like, 
we're not going to do this anymore. Exactly. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, yeah. If it's, if it's toxic and it's not good for you, it's not good for your health or your soul or whatever. So figure out what that is and, and go with that. Sometimes when it's family members, you cannot uh, get away from when they're toxic and try to limit the time that you yes. have to spend with them. Yes. And don't feel and, guilty. <laughs> and there's a ton of different like podcasts that you can uh, listen to with that um, to get more on that. Um, but yeah, family, especially around this time of year can be a hard one, but you can also just be like open about things that like bother you. If, the, if, you know, right. if it's somebody that you can't get away from, you can be exactly. like, Hey, when you do that thing, that thing right there, it that makes me feel like this. Yes, exactly. There you go. And just Absolutely. like put it on the table and be like, you can try to change it or you can just keep on doing it. And then I have to go now. <laughs> yeah, but that's good though. That's a, 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 an excellent point because you, you're letting it out. Mm -hmm. And most of the time is what eats us alive is when we don't express what's bothering us. So that's an amazing Absolutely. way. Uh, I wish I knew what her name was, but there is a really good podcast just about that, about communication. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so true. Because it's going to eat you alive whether you say it or not. So you might as well just say it. Absolutely. Um, simplify, number 12, simplify your finances. So um, this is the last one. Uh, create a budget and stick to it. Avoid unnecessary expenses. Consider automating bills to reduce administrative tasks. My two cents on this one, which if you're listening to the podcast, you kind of did ask me, so I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not pay my bills ever. It doesn't mean they don't get paid, but I don't pay them. All of my bills are on auto pay, and they have been since I was like, 21 years old. And I like discovered that that was a thing. Amazing. Why the hell would I sit there and write you a check on a piece of paper, pay for stamp, stick mm -hmm. it in an envelope and mail it. Come on. That's all school. <laughs> Not anymore. Not only are you wasting time, money and trees and resources to do all of that. Mm -hmm. You have to pay it either way. Let the bank do it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and if you don't have the money to do it, like, I mean, that's a whole nother thing, but like, you're probably going to have the money at some point. So you might as well just figure out like an overdraft solution. If mm -hmm. you're going to pay with your credit card, like connect that to your overdraft. Like there are things you can do, but anybody that is still physically paying your bills right now, I don't know why you're doing that. <laughs> Um, and of course, like, you know, if you can't afford to pay your bills that way, then that's another thing. And then you really need to look at your finances and your budget and figure that out. And I strongly mm -hmm. suggest you get a side hustle, which I just got a new one today. Ooh, and I start nice today. <laughs> yeah. And I'm real excited. Oh, well, okay. So the last one is, uh, practice mindfulness and presence. And that's when we're going to get our fantastic, uh, mm -hmm. meditation with Miss Mia here. So um, real quick, I'll tell you about my my new gig. I am going to be working at the airport. I'm serving, but I'm going to get a, I have a Jeep. So on the tire of my Jeep, which I've always like been like, oh, I want something for that, but I could never figure out just exactly what it was. Guys, I'm going to get my podcast on there. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, so I'll have like, yeah. International exposure. Going to Paris? Uh oh, oh. have a drink. Here's my <laughs> podcast. Listen yeah. to it on the plane. That is such a great idea. I love that. Thank you. I'm so excited to do it. My Jeep's going to be so pimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was waiting for it. Right? And yeah. all my bumper stickers are going to make a lot more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So the last thing, number 13, <laughs> practice mindfulness and presence. So be present in the moment. Mindfulness can help you appreciate what you have and reduce anxiety about the future and slow everything down. Um, so I just think that, like life goes by so fast. Um, somebody told me this, the funny version is like a roll of toilet paper. Like as it goes, it goes quicker and quicker. Mm -hmm. But another thing it's about like, it's respective to like your age. And, you know, as you older, it's like, as you get older, it seems like time goes by faster and faster, but it's also because like, if you're imagine, like think about the summers when you were like eight, 
they seemed like they lasted forever, right? And now it's like, a summer in comparison to like how many years you've been alive is such a small increment of time. So imagine a day, right? So it's like a day was so much a bigger portion when you're like three, as opposed to now, like the however many more years you have, the smaller an increment it is. So that's why it feels like it goes by so fast. So these little moments, this, these the time that we have, we really need to make sure that we're spending it appropriately. So now we are going to get into Mia's meditation. So if you want to hit pause, get yourself comfy, lay down, you know, do whatever you're going to do, light a candle, put your incense on, um, but just get ready to receive this amazingness that she's going to give us. And I'm going to do this with you guys. So I'm going to try to get like comfy in my chair. Right now. There we go. Just apparently my my computer decided it was going to die. So I'm like, oh, no, I need a plug. <laughs> it's all set. So now everybody can relax and we'll get right into our meditation. Get a little music. Take a deep breath. All right. So we're going to find a quiet place where we can have some time to ourselves without being interrupted. Now let's try to get really, really comfortable, whether it is sitting up or laying down. Let your body dictate how it wants to be. Now close your eyes gently and focus your attention on your breathing, inhaling and exhaling naturally like the ebb and flow of the ocean. In your mind, set the intention that I am devoting this well-deserved time for myself and for my well-being. So together, by listening to the sounds of my voice and the gentle music behind it, let's go on a peaceful, calming, and healing journey. Let's direct our focus on our breath. So inhale. Hold it. Two, three four and slowly exhale again slowly inhale hold it two three four and slowly exhale and with each breath you will feel more and more relaxed you will see every worry negative thought fear Melt away and dissipate as you exhale. We're going to inhale light. Hold it. Two, three, four. And slowly exhale. All uncertainty, leaving behind a feeling of calmness. Now feeling your eyes getting heavy to the point that you can't almost open them. Feeling your jaw muscles loosening with every breath you take. See the light traveling down your neck, your shoulders, your arms, all the way down to your fingertips, releasing all tension, all negativity that is held in your body. Notice the warm and relaxing feeling traveling through your chest, your lower back, your tummy, or hips, your legs, all the way down to your feet and toes, and feel the tingly feeling in your toes and embrace the sensation of balance, lightness, and comfort. Now once more, inhale light. One, two, three, and slowly exhale. Simply be present. Find the light in the now. Know that you are a creator. You are powerful and you are a loving child of light source. And one last time, inhale. Hold it, two, three, four. And slowly exhale. And little by little, you will start coming back, feeling refreshed, and at peace 
and knowing that you have access to this method whenever you may need it. And start wiggling your toes, your fingers, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And there it is. <laughs> wow. How awesome was that? So I just feel such a sense of calmness mm -hmm. and so at peace. And I will say that, you know, I would like to be someone that meditates every day. I probably do it. Yeah. You once a week. But just the fact that you said that you can do this anytime, just as quickly as we just did it. What was that, like five minutes? Maybe a little less, yeah. Maybe less. Yeah. Wow, what a difference. It makes a big, huge difference. Uh, and uh, it's going inside. So taking the time to just mm -hmm. quiet. And it's okay if thoughts come in, just let them come back out and just take those deep breaths. Mm-hmm. Wow. But if you get lost in the in the thoughts, which they call monkey mind, you just um, you know concentrate on the breath, focus on the breath, and it'll bring mm -hmm. you back. And let the the thoughts the thoughts go by. It's, you know you don't have to control anything. It's about being in the moment. Just simply be. <laughs> I know, isn't it so good? Thank you so much. You so. so we talked about where we can find you. She's on Instagram. She's um, in Savannah. She has a website. What's the name of your website again? It's ritualholisticstudio.com. And also do uh, readings via Zoom. I forgot to mention. Yeah, she does. Oh, and speaking of readings... Yes. So, and so you call them like they're guides, but you're, they're like ancestors, like yeah. it, they'd be well, angels, like however you really think about it. Right. I think, it, you know, everything's energy and however you were raised, you will see it in one way or the other. I think ultimately it's energy, but like how, when I do the readings, it's kind of two, two channels, I would say. So mm -hmm. one channel is the, the, the guides, how I call them, which is, and they're your guides, not, not mine. Mm -hmm. Um, And they're like, disincarnate people that have apparently never been here that doesn't mean that your family cannot be a guide but then there's the channel oh, of okay. the of the, the departed ones or your loved ones and loved ones can uh -huh. be friends and that's so the the guides show me things that i understand through symbolism so i can express you know the, mm -hmm. what they're saying and the the family members show me things that you know that i have no idea what what it is so that's it's a big difference, but they're still guiding you and loving you either way. <laughs> so I just, I had something very magical happen to me. Um, and I just wanted to like quickly share that. So there was a bag that I lost in the move. And I was like, I don't have, I mean, I have a lot, like I'm working on having less things, but I know everything that I have and I know where it is. And I couldn't find this one thing. They're my blue light glasses, which the blue light glasses weren't such a big deal, but there was a chain on them that my Nana had given me and she didn't have a lot of money. Like she would send me like a $5 or $10 check for like my birthday or like some lotion at Christmas time or some socks. And it was always like whatever I really, really needed. And this one time she gave me, um, a, like a seashell chain that goes on your glasses. And she was like, don't, don't lose this because when you're older and you need readers, you're really going to want to have this. <laughs> oh. And I was like, okay, now, now, like it was probably like seriously, like 10 or 15 years ago. And so obviously like I always kept it and never even took it out of the box. Cause I was like, I don't have glasses. I'm not going to put them on like my sunglasses. I don't know. I just never used it. So then I had gotten these blue light glasses and, you know, you kind of have to put them on and off. And so I put them on there and I couldn't find them. And I was really like, genuinely sad about it. And I thought about it quite often. Um, and so yesterday is like the five year anniversary of the day she died, which like they kind of say it's on Halloween and they kind of, it was like overnight during Halloween. So on Halloween, I'm going to Mia's store, her studio to record this. And I use this bag. It's like a black and white bag that I use frequently. And I've used multiple times since then. And I feel something in the pocket. I shit you not. My Man. LED glasses <laughs> are in there. And again, it's the anniversary of like the day that she died. And my heart just 
build. I just was like, and I was on my way to like record the podcast. And I was like, you know, I'm just, it's the first time I'm having a guest and I'm like feeling all these things. And I'm just like, Oh my God. Thank you, like, Nana. Yeah, Nana, like, she's proud of me. Like, no, of I'm, course she is. Yeah. That's so good. it was like, sorry. No, um, it's sweet so that they I have that way. It's just a special moment. And I just, um, you know, it's just like amazing how, how stuff like that happens. And I'm telling you, I looked in that bag. They were not in there. <laughs> That's your way so, of telling you what you said. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here. Don't, yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> so, and it's crazy because like you would think that Halloween would make me sad, but like, I don't know. It never does. Like usually on the day people pass away, like, I don't know, but I, I don't know. For some reason it like brings me comfort. I maybe because I feel like she's like in a better place. I don't know. Yeah. And then she's, yeah. she's all, she's all around. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's a, you know, it's going home kind of, kind of putting it yeah. and going everywhere. So, so I believe in that, that woo woo stuff. <laughs> good. We all have spirits. So that's good. <laughs> yes. All right. So, and you can connect with her on zoom. Um, like I said, so if there's something that you give a question and you know, whatever it is, um, you can find me on Zoom. And actually, that was like the, the first time, the only reading that I've had, we did on Zoom. And it it really works. So, um, all right. So just to recap, you know, try to slow down your mind. Maybe use cash instead of gift cards when you send presents. <laughs> um, try to do, you know, we think of life and faster and more, but maybe try to think of less and slower. Um, and those two examples I hear often, um, like I said, little things like dishes and laundry, Um just a quick thing, new episodes are going to now drop every Thursday instead of every Monday. I know I mentioned that before. Like I said, I'm starting messy, but I'm bringing you guys along with me on this journey. Uh, next week, we're going to do another dish. It's one of my fall favorites. It's a protein bowl with kale, butternut squash, and ground beef, but you can substitute any of that for anything else you like, which we'll talk about my own recipes more next week. Um, the Phillies lost. So that's that. Um, but the Eagles are six and two and we played Dallas this week. So go birds. Um, mm -hmm. And the beer of the week is this is delicious. It's a Kentucky bourbon pumpkin ale. So um, it is Thursday. So Thursday, Thursday, if you guys are looking for something new to try, I think that's a good one. Um, don't for, don't forget to subscribe, unsubscribe from the, all the other people, but subscribe to me. <laughs> uh, I would love for you to leave me a review. Um, and I started a Facebook group. You can find all of this stuff on simply world. the Facebook group. I'm going to be activating to kind of just like give you guys updates as like a place for everyone can engage for the show. Um, and send me a message on Instagram, simp.ly.b. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much if you spent the time to tune in with us today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you found some of these things useful. Um, if you did, please let me know. Drop me a note. And um, just thank you all so much. And thank you, Mia, so much for joining me in this conversation. What a wonderful meditation. I'm just mm -hmm. so I'm just so happy. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much for having me. I feel honored. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I hope people reach out to you and Zoom That's you for right. a, I, a question. I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I promise. Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, thank you everybody so much and uh, tune in next week. I love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>